Setting up a business is never easy, and Dundee is not the most prosperous city in Scotland. <laughs> Ten years ago, John Wilson was a graduate student at Dundee University. To supplement his income, he taught himself to repair jewellery. That earned him a few pounds. Today, John's business has an annual turnover of over half a million pounds. He's still in the same trade, but repairing jewellery is now just a sideline. His real business is selling it. John opened a shop in an indoor centre in the middle of the city, but its position in a market at the back of the centre was not ideal. The only way to attract customers was to make sure that the jewellery they wanted was always on display. But that involved guesswork, and it meant stocking far too many different designs. One of the problems with any jeweller shops, uh, any jeweller shop, is that you've got to stock at least 2,000 lines to offer a comprehensive range to the customers. We, in fact, were stocking 6,500 different stock items. That presented its own problems. The major problems were this. To look after 6,500 lines, you need a vast number of people adding them, counting the stock, checking the stock. We were, our stock records were always way behind our actual physical stock check. We did not know what was selling in what quantities and who we'd got it from quickly enough. We needed accurate information to do the correct buying, to do the correct marketing, to do the correct promotions. The business was being run very, very badly. In fact, the business was running us and we were not running the business. The answer was to get information about sales and stock much more rapidly and that meant installing a computerised stock control system. But although it's a small shop, only a large and expensive system could cope with the thousands of different lines. It was a difficult decision to make that investment. The package chosen cost over £60,000, but it has allowed the whole sales process to be properly integrated. Now the cash registers record all of the details of each sale electronically and pass them to a central computer for analysis. I had no previous computer experience whatsoever. The limit of my, my experience was with a small Spectrum computer, which I didn't understand and couldn't really use. I, we've now gone, we've purchased this very large computer system. It's probably a, a system that's much bigger than you would anticipate to see in originally a single shop. We had so many stock lines and wanted to do so much that the system had to be initially very large and very expandable. The computer looks after all the stock records for the shop, and that alone is useful, but its real value lies in the sales reports that it produces. These identify the performance of every one of the designs in stock. Without the computer, it would never have been possible for us to really establish what was selling and what was not selling. I don't think it's humanly possible to look after six and a half thousand lines. Even a thousand lines becomes totally impractical. We previously were essentially having the wrong information fed back to us. The information we were getting was, was subjective. If I was in the shop and happened to sell two of something, I then thought that that was a line that the customers were buying. That turned out to be, in most instances, completely erroneous. We now have objective information. We have the correct answers uh, to our buying decisions uh, and our stocking decisions. A combination of all these factors had also allowed us to display the goods that the customers want to buy. The traditional conservative jeweller would stock um, from silver plate through to quality jewellery, expensive diamond rings, uh, and all the other things that were associated with the, with the jewellers. Some of these things are not profitable to stock, both in terms of physical space if you have a small shop. We've looked at the items that we're selling that our public, that our customers want to buy and they range from some very inexpensive things. Uh, but because there is an element of volume in them, they become profitable to stock and profitable sell. These are things that the customers want to buy. And previously, we'd have, we would have neglected them, both in terms of promoting them and pushing them and putting them in window display space. So that we now have a more balanced view that really it's what we ought to be stocking solely what the customers want to buy, not what the traditional jeweler wants to sell. John has done more than just run the original software, he's also adapted it. His stock is particularly sensitive to changes in fashion. Because of the shop's position, he stocks mainly small items, so the sales needed to be monitored very closely. John has developed his own ways of analysing the data and has learned how to manipulate the software to build them into the computer's reports. 
You can, for example, look at sales over much shorter periods than before and spot designs that are just starting to become popular. The reports now reveal rapid changes in fashion and that's given John an edge over his competitors. He's even discovered that he can use the reports to work out the best positions to place each item in the displays. By putting best-selling designs in a different position each month and getting the computer to analyze the result, it's been possible to find out which display positions are most noticed by the customers. And they're not always obvious. We've realized there were hot spots in the window displays, best-selling positions in the window displays that you could sell anything from. Uh, and so it seemed to us logical that we should put in those best-selling areas the goods that the public wanted to buy. They were easiest for them to see, they were obviously in the best-selling location, and so it seemed natural to put them there and it enhanced the sales quite dramatically. John Wilson no longer has to gamble on what his customers want. The computer tells him. He's cut the number of designs he stocks by half, yet sales have gone up by over 50%. Above all, the computer has replaced guesswork with a high degree of precision. It is a very powerful tool. We now, although can't write very clever reports, we can write reports that are very, very pertinent to our business, which are going to make the business successful, profitable, and more important, are going to give us lots of happy customers. Hmm. Next week, it's the Witch Computer Show at the National Exhibition Centre near Birmingham. It runs from Tuesday to Saturday, and on Tuesday evening, the winners of the RETA Awards, that's the Awards for Recognition of Information Technology Achievement, are going to be announced. And Gemini Jewellers, who we've just seen, are in fact nominated for an award in the User of the Year category. Anyway, we wish them luck. That's it for this week. Next week, we'll be joined by Professor Michael Brady from Oxford University, and we'll be looking, amongst other things, at robots which can run, jump and even beat you at ping-pong. Until then, goodbye.